In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Maya tool in Adobe Illustrator. First, I will show you where to find this Maya tool. You probably would not find the Maya tool from the toolbar because it is hidden in the sub menus. You will find the Maya tool in different locations depending on which version of the toolbar you are using. You can see and change the toolbar version from the window menu and toolbars. If you are using the basic toolbar, the Maya tool is not among the visible tools. If you click on the three dots at the bottom, you can edit the toolbar. You can see that the grayed out ones are already part of the toolbar. And the ones in white are not available currently and can be added to the existing toolbar. If you scroll down the list of tools, you will find the Maya tool. You can drag and drop onto the existing toolbar. It could be placed at the bottom of the panel if you drag onto an existing tool, it will be grouped along with it. If you are using the advanced toolbar, it might be temporarily hiding under the eyedropper tool. If the eyedropper tool is showing, you can right click on the icon and select the measure tool. It will be represented with a ruler. Now that you have found the tool, let's find out how to use it. I am going to show you an example of how to use the Maya tool to Maya lines in Adobe Illustrator. Click on the starting point of the line that you want to Maya and drag it all the way through the end point of the line. The info panel will appear automatically and you will be able to see the size or dimension information there. Now for example if you want to Maya the dimension of this shape starting with one side Click and drag and you will see the length shown as D. Now this is the length of the side that I measured. You can do the same to measure the rest of the sides. You can measure your object size in every direction. Shift drag to constrain the tool's motion to multiple of 45 degree angle. If you drag your mouse direction from left to right, you will get an outcome with positive number. But if you do in, in the opposite way, you will get a negative number. One important thing is you don't need the Maya tool to measure objects in Illustrator. You can open the info panel by going to window menu and choose info and see the measurements information directly. Another section where you can see the dimension info is the properties and then transform panel. The measure tool is useful for measuring sides. Of course, you can use it to measure shapes as well, but you don't have to. If you only want to get the width and height info, simply select the shape and you can see the size on the properties panel. So I hope you have learned how to use measure tool in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. By the way, if you have not seen our earlier videos, please take a look. This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator. It covers everything in full detail. Link is given in the description and first comment. That's all in our part 49 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero Complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. That's all for today. See you in part 50.